oh. talking randomly. We need to get off this topic. So when are you gentlemen going to come visit if I'm coming out of Vegas? Maybe. I don't know. Can we do a radio show first and then like talk about personal later? We have to sell advertising first, guys. Yeah, we really do. We yeah, really I do. really want to come visit. The ads are very annoying, by the way. Yo, you're mad, uh... By the way, why do mad, uh, it's bad cold in Cali right now, eh? I have the heat. It's pretty chilly, yeah. Yeah, man. We're, like, chilling. It's, like, 85 here. I should move back. I think you are, not you? I don't know. Right. Maybe. It's not happening. Like I said, they women are them. selfish. Wow, this is turning into coffee hour. Like I said, women are selfish and put themselves first only, folks. You know who's not calling in today and should be, like, on the phone, like, in rampages? Who? Take a wild guess. Who likes to call in and have rampages? Snarfy, boy. Uh, Snarf, if you're listening, get on the radio. We'll put you on with Gus Phillips and you can duke it out. Well, guys, the next question I had now. Yeah. Oh, you guys could have like two people on the phone? Yes. Yes. We're, we're high tech this is over at, here. Yeah, we're, uh, like, we're in a studio guy in case you haven't noticed. Honestly, <laughs> honestly I'm impressed. Yeah, bro. It's legit, man. Yeah, man. Guys, except for the kitchen table, as the you know, but that's okay. Gentlemen, gun, guns in society are guns the problem? No, stupid motherfuckers with guns are the problem. Yeah, but if those stupid, I don't like to use curse words on the air, bro. It's internet radio. Have access to guns? Isn't that the problem? But the criminal, we, the criminal is going to have access to guns either way. What that's if not we going to stop? What it. if we just made smarter guns? Because they just buy. First of all, criminals and the people that are going to do this stuff buy their buns on guns on the black market now mm -hmm. anyway, because they can't get a legitimate. But none of gun. these, none of these uh, so high-profile the banning cases, it is just wait, not going to do none anything. None of these high-profile cases that were in the news involve criminals. Really? Because when you shoot twelve motherfuckers, no, that makes I you mean, a criminal. Before, right? <laughs> before they, before they took part in the act. Oh, of really? course they're they're serious criminals. Okay. After the fact, yeah. they <laughs> still <laughs> these were, you know, they're they're probably more me I'm not probably they're more mentally disturbed than anything. But they weren't they right. don't have any criminal past. Um, right. Maybe we just have to have better control over no. access to guns and some better testing. I don't think so because uh, I just no, th man. still it's think like, whatever, that man. guy that well, killed the twenty kids. Do you carry would a have gun? found a gun either way. You, well, guy, there was no gun control a hundred years ago, and everybody was not shooting up everybody everywhere. I you, agree. Okay, and everybody had a gun, and their mother had a gun, and babies I mean, would, I, I've never would shot play with gun. guns. Okay, no, you're, are you serious? I've never shot a gun. I own a few, like yeah, well, four you, of them. Yeah, but well, you grew up in Florida. I grew up in New York City. That's true too. I'm, and you never I'm shot a, a gun. I've I mean, never come shot on. a gun. I'm a hillbilly. I, quite frankly, I don't really have a desire. You didn't have like ghetto friends or nothing. Um, I got these biceps right here. All right. I show, them, I show those to people, and it's, it's case closed. No, bro. By the way, speaking of criminal, criminals, Conrad Bain is uh, dead at 89. In, in case you didn't know, Conrad Bain was uh, Mr. Drummond from Different Strokes, who all his kids, although adopted, were criminals. Who all his kids, although adopted, were criminals. Wow. Can wow, you turn down your radio, really? please? Is he still on the phone? What yeah, the? bro. For real. He's Feel free to say stuff. Pal. Yeah, you're clogging up the lines, guy. No, say stuff. What did Gary Coleman do? Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman was he was a malaka. That's a crime. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Uh, Gary Coleman did a lot of stuff, man. Is Gary Coleman a homosexual? I have a feeling. Isn't he, he is. dead too? Isn't yeah, like, Gary Coleman. <laughs> he did crack. And then the girl wasn't she like a crackhead and a whore and like she's dead too? I think only Willis is still alive. Oh, what you talking about, Willis? Yeah, and I only know that because he's like friends with Vanilla Ice in that movie with Adam Sandler. Speaking oh, of Vanilla, Vanilla Ice, Ice, was great in that movie. Yeah, right. Bro, you know Vanilla Ice is like a mad contractor, like crazy, like million Rehabber. dollar homes and shit. Yeah, he's like a, he, he flips like mil million plus dollar homes in South Florida. I know he pretends it's West Palm Beach, but it's really Jupiter. I know this for a fact. Right. Because I go through those neighborhoods. Well, Jupiter with my brother, and he's like, Beach. yeah, it's like. And then, like, on the show, he's pretending he's in West Palm. But, well, whatever. It's the same thing, man. Talk to me about these 787 Dreamliners. I think the FAA should ground them. Ground them. I agree. That's all. You just can't put people's lives at risk no, like this. That's just not acceptable. What? It's unreal. Because did it. you hear today they had another issue? Yeah, well, what another was issue. issue. What uh, was uh, issue? Japanese Airlines 787. Fuel leak? Had, no. Had to be emergency landed this morning For because what? of a battery issue, like electric issue. They got to ground them. Because they're making them crappy, man. Yeah, they just got to ground them, bro. But I, Some, you know, that stuff Something happens. is bound to that catastrophe. Like, you know, that's like an aviation story. Like, where's Carafotia when you need him? Who can, like, literally tell you the history of everything? Dude, Carafotia is just a home... He's just... Homeboy. 
He's hopeless. That's what he is, man. It's right here. Yeah, it's time for Final Fall. Καλή επιτυχία. All right. Hey, Malaka, σαρέσει το σο. Wow. It's legit, honestly. It's saying that it is. It is. It's. It is legit. Eh? What does FIFA say? No, it's like it's good, man. Yeah, we're we'll watching it together. It's like golf, computers, <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence. Hi, we're on TV. It's, it's like wow. It's like really. It's professional, <laughs> bro. Guy, real fast, real fast. Get the pin out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. All right, bye, bye. bye. It's not coffee hour. Cut no, him shut off. up. He wants to say something. Oh, Costa has big penis. Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's in the coffee cup? Coffee. Oh, regular oh. coffee, yeah. You know we that drink, foam that you put inside no, doorways to make drink, sure that they stay uh, good? We drank yeah. way too much last night. We got home like 9 a.m. today, bro. That's yeah. never good. Oh, I, know, I know your, te your text was like going to the M-A-X-I-M-O-X-I. -X -I -X -I. Oh, Maximo, yeah. You know when, like, how the iPhone like uh, auto spells and shit? Mm. Yeah, after me, 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 so. Anyway, we won. <laughs> Bud? Yeah. Costa, go have dinner. Look, I, have a good night. What, what, how do you get the ads off here? You have to register? What ads? Wow, guy. Seriously. Good night, sir. Good night, cut sir. Cut him off. <laughs> cut him off. There's like commercials and you guys cut off. All right, cut off this guy and we'll, let's take the next caller. Two what minutes is that to me? I sound like you're No, that's two how the show break. is. You should watch it. All right, then. Later. All right, we're going to take a break in two minutes. But no, just so you know... Um, that for the FAA, what it was, was uh, they ordered the U.S. Airlines to stop offering the Boeing 787 after a series of battery and fuel system failures have called into question the air, 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 airworthiness. So they did ground them. Yeah, emergency landing Finally, in Japan. Ba apparent battery failure. Yeah, I love I it when it's apparent. It's an apparent battery failure. But uh, it was also... Just like uh, allegedly, like, yeah, we just yes. filled in is, <laughs> you, like, homosexual. Yeah, right? the alleged killer who yeah. shot everybody on video. You know what I'm saying? By the way, when we come back from the break, we're going to discuss the NFL playoffs. We're down to the final four. Yeah, and that's what Joe likes to do. No, but Nate, Nate just wants to talk about the point spreads. I want yeah. to sort of analyze <laughs> that's the matchups. No, yes. I'll talk about matchups. All right, matchups, point, point spreads. spreads. Now, yes, yes. Like, just don't get on a seven. And we'll see. We'll see who Malaka is going to pick, and we'll go against. Yeah, them. we will. Malaka, if you're still yeah, listening, call, call back. Call back so and can, uh, give us yes. your uh, and back. tell us where we can gamble. There's got to be someone in Are we on, are we, uh, still on there? We're just horrible. We just have we no on skills break? today. Are we on break? Are we still? Are we still here? There's Nolan. There he is. You'll, you'll like, get the signal when you're on. By break. the way, if you don't know Nolan, he looks exactly like Costa from Mr. Z's. Yeah, and Ex if you don't know Costa from Mr. Z's, then then just, just forget it. Yeah, please. forget yeah, it. Exactly. Gentlemen, real quick for the listeners that don't know how this program started, how did y'all come to meet Nolan and get this thing started here? Oh, by accident. By literally. Literally, like we showed up. He's like, "Here, look. You look like you know what you're doing." No, then, no, yeah. no, Louis, no, you actually happened. look like you know what you're doing. Yeah, I do. I pull it off well. Like pull I can it off real well. scam my way into anything. Trust me. I'm not sure about the blazer with the t-shirt and the gym shorts. Don't but tell them that they can't yeah, see yeah, their. Hey, wow, what, what the? F that's we, we can tell them why that's, not. Because it's not how it works. No, you know why they they used to be able to see, but I was like scratching my balls all last yeah, week, we, and like Nolan was like this is fucking disgusting. So he like changed. All right, we'll be back in two minutes. This is Round Two Radio with Louis, Louis Naso, and Joe Tobanidis.
This is our last song. <laughs> song is called Hands Tightly. We're the new. Comes a time in your life when you think that everything is good. It's not what other people want. What the hell do they know when they ain't got shit to show? What the fuck do they want? Welcome back to Round 2 Radio on Talk Wad Radio Network. I'm Louie Louie. Right next to me uh, over here, if you can see us, is Naso. And on the other side is Joe. So, but he's filling in for Nico. Who, right, we have to say his last name. Yeah, really Seriously. Do. Now, if you want to call in, it is 813-639-TALK. That's T-A-L-K for those of you that can't spell. And once again, it is area code 813-639-TALK. If you don't have long distance, then you probably shouldn't call in anyways. All right, so what are we talking about, Joe? After the break, you said we're going to talk about... Well, we don't know the point spreads. You're going to look them up, but uh, we want to talk about the NFL playoffs. Yeah, briefly, we yeah. Should. yeah. Well, briefly, look, the matchups are San Fran versus Atlanta. In the NFC. In the NFC. And the AFC is... is uh, New England versus Baltimore. Correct. Clearly, the, the favorite has to be New England. I would say so. Simply because, of, I mean, possibly the number one quarterback of all time. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I, I, I'm not a Patriots fan at all. And I'm not either. I hate But I have to admit that Tom Brady is I, what, quite amazing. What else can the guy do? To I'm not himself? nothing. Like, he's just, I don't know. it's unbelievable. And from a coaching the standpoint. The Brady Bunch. Uh, I don't know if it gets any better than Bill Belichick. I don't maybe, have to Andy, agree. maybe Andy Felios can call us back with his. Uh, yeah, right. He's got some credibility in this. Andy, in this please arena. call in, please. But, uh, Nate, who do you like? you like New England or Baltimore? Man, you know, I, I like New England, but I don't know. Ray Lewis, he's going out this year. He's got a lot of heart. The guy's an animal. You Something never about know. about him, I'm thinking the same exact thing. Yeah. He's got the type of spirit and leadership that he could literally motivate that team to play above their heads. Above even what and, they think they're capable right, of. And, right. And, and, and win this game. 
Yeah, I agree. And if they if they can control the line of scrimmage and run the ball effectively, I mean, Joe Flacco's a talented quarterback. He's got a strong arm. I'm, they I'm, have a ni- great wide receiving core. I, I'm not, as much as I like New England, as much as I like Tom Brady and Belichick, I really think Baltimore has a real shot to win this game. I, I agree. I, I and be surprised as the that. weather, I won't think, will affect them. Because, you know, they play in Baltimore. It's cold there. It's not like they're an indoor team where it's going to be, you know. Now, how about San Fran versus Atlanta? That's going to be, I think that's going to be an amazing game. Definitely, I think it's going to be very high scoring. Although San Francisco has def- its top three, their defense this year. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair. And uh, I don't even know. I can't call that. Who do you like? I'm going to have to like give it to San Fran. I, I, I'm still – look, I, I like Colin Kaepernick. I think he's a talented quarterback. Um, I, I still think he's uh, – yeah, I just – his the age factor scares me. I think, obviously, Atlanta's a little more seasoned – with Matt Ryan uh, behind center, right, and I think in a game like that, uh, Matt Matt Ryan's leadership will, will will likely carry them to a victory. I, I like Atlanta in this game. I don't know because uh, Atlanta barely squeaked it out last week against uh, was it Seattle? Sure, you know something about that, and th- this happens a lot in college football, for instance. Okay, where people say, "Well, hey, they barely got past this team." And we blew that team out, so we should beat them handedly. True, that doesn't always work in sports. Match-ups, no, it, it really doesn't. Matchups are different. Um, you know, one team has an advantage that another team can't accommodate for. And I, I, I'm not sold by what one team does uh, versus a common opponent as being an indicator of how the other team will perform when, you know, when going head to head. I just, you know, I, I look past that. And that happened a lot this year with the SEC talking about college football. Right. You know, Georgia, uh, uh, you know, beats Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, they get crushed by South Carolina. And yep. uh, you know, and and you know, they get they're the number three team going in, in the BCS going into the uh, end of the season. Get to play in the championship game, obviously for the SEC championship. Um, but I just looked all past that. I like I like Atlanta and I like Baltimore. Yeah, I don't. I can't. I really. I'm gonna have to go with Frisco. Although that's gonna be, I think, a New England is gonna be either. It's gonna be like a blowout. It's well, either. New England's going to kill them, or Baltimore's going to, like, kill them, like, because they're not going to score a lot, whatever. We'll but see. I think San Francisco and Atlanta is going to be, like, a 42 to, like, 38. All right, now, Nate, since you like talking about point spreads in Vegas and gambling, I got to imagine that the, the action in Vegas goes down significantly once the NFL season is over. It does. Actually, I was watching a thing on this on, uh, I forgot what channel it was. It was probably, like, six months ago. And uh, one of the... Uh, but managers of the sports books at I believe it was Caesars okay. I want to say which is one of the busiest they, they, actually they're the one that they yeah. set they set the lines for like most of the country right they? so uh, which by was, the way those guys are incredible what they do oh I mean super incredible <laughs> like they can call it like speaking of sports book if you'd like to place a bet please call eight one three six three nine talk <laughs> we uh, he's just kidding by the way we don't no I'm it. not for real just call him <laughs> <laughs> uh, we sports? take cash or credit. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just oh yeah. He said that when NFL season ends, their action goes down about sixty five percent. What if they have to lay off people? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have during that NFL season more of a staff. They probably have like seasonal employment. I'm sure. sure. I mean, there's people that make a living literally week to week in the NFL. You know, for sixteen weeks or eighteen weeks. Oh yeah, and that's how they make. Yeah, they're living. called bookies, guy. Not no, the bookies, guy, like professional gamblers, professional bettors. There's people that literally, and you know what. Being a professional better at gambling, they don't play every game. Do you have any friends that are professional betters like that? I I don't. I don't. You should, because then we could all get in that. Well, that's not something you want to stake your. uh, Guy, we could sit there make an infomercial like uh, uh, Don uh, Laprie style. Exactly. I was going to say Carlton Sheets, but that's too much. Don Laprie style. Don Laprie. You can bet every week. On just one NFL game, and here's the best part. You can all do it from your one, one bedroom, bedroom apartment. apartment. <laughs> and here's what they do, like like Al Pacino and two for the money. Yeah. Right? He'll he'll phenomenal give, flick. He'll give 50% of the people Atlanta. He'll give the other 50% of the people San Francisco. Mm. Nah. So half the people are going to have a correct pick from him. Right. right. Okay? So they're going to think he's money. They're going to go into the Super Bowl. He's going to give the 50% of the people that chose Atlanta New England, if mm-hmm. New England beats Baltimore. And the other 50, he'll give them Atlanta. So somebody's going to have, you know, eventually going to win both games because of his advice. And next year, they're going to tune in and pay him big money 
and try to get his picks every week to help them. Right. The league. It's probably cool. And then Barack Obama will reverse the decision and it'll all go to hell like America now, is. Is Barack Obama going to issue an executive order curbing uh, certain types of gun or in gun use? For, you know what? Uh, you want know, to talk? I don't put anything. You want yeah. to talk guns anymore. on this show? Huh? No, we we'll talk about guns unless you want to collect them. <laughs> the, no, we'll talk about something bigger than guns because, like, you know, we talk about everybody's got an opinion. And people like guns. People like shooting them. People like having sex with them. All kinds of stuff. But this is even better than gun control and the malakias that Joe Biden spits out every five minutes. Okay, all right. What is it? I have to read this from Huffington Sports, it's Huffington Post. Speaking of Greek whores, Ariana Stasinopoulos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Her name's not Huffington. She married a gay guy in California to take his white English name, and then so, oh, she's Greek. The Huffington yeah, Post. Lady? Yeah, I didn't know this. Yeah. Nate, where have you been? I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyways, shit. check this out. I swear to God, the White House has recently nixed all plans for a Death Star, a real Death Star, estimated to cost more than I don't. Th is this a quadrillion dollars? I'm not even joking. Wait, I can't. I can't even count. It's eight hundred fifty, and there's one, two, three, four, five sets of zeros. Wait, that's there, like well, a, that's a million. There are fifteen zeros after the. Wait, that's a million. It's a that's billion. That's a hundred million. Yeah, that's a billion. And what's that's after eight hundred and fifty billion dollars? Really? That's almost a trillion no, that's, dollars. No, it's eight hundred fifty trillion dollars. No, it's eight hundred and fifty billion. After okay, so whatever. After a petition for the creation of the legendary spacecraft and super weapon garnered tens of thousands of signatures, whatever they there were people, the Death Star from Star Wars, the first one, if you don't remember, or the one from the 70s, you know. Who, who, I'm you, not a Star Wars fan. It doesn't matter, but you know what the Death Star was, the giant thing the size of a moon could blow up planets. Sure. What? Why are you raping us, Barack Obama? Seriously, why are you even wasting our time with that? The worst. I don't part know is, why does he waste our time with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Why? 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 Why do you even have to? Why are you the president, Barack Obama? Exactly. Why did our stupid population reelect you? Barack why can't Obama? Dustin Hoffman be president or something? Just, re just forget it. You know what, bro? I, I've honestly. Now are we talking fiscal issues here or social issues? Uh, both. Both. At this point, they're all the same. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, if you're if it's not about uh, welfare and homosexuality, there's no. It's not even going to get in front of the White House. Yeah, you're right. Or, or you know, unless it's the Death Star, you know, or the 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 trillion dollar coin. Right. How about yeah. that, eh? Uh, tell me like, about is this that. real? No, no. Tell us about it. Like, tell us no, about that's it. what I'm saying. Like, where do these people get off coming up with this? And like, what's a trillion dollar coin? You didn't hear about that? No. Tell me about it. Tell us all. You really didn't hear about yeah, it. No, that's no, why we're here. It. Tell us about it. Bro, they were talking about one of the proposals that they gave to Obama, yeah. his like advisors, was to create a platinum trillion dollar coin mm -hmm. and put it in the Federal Reserve just so we say we have like a trillion dollar stash in the reserve. No joke. And they weren't going to put a, million, a trillion dollars worth of platinum in it because it would be like the size of the earth. So yeah. it'd be like a literal coin and just say $1 trillion. Does a trillion it. dollars of platinum even exist? I'm sure. It's probably like all the platinum on It's Earth. probably like all the platinum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, which they could use to make a Death Star, in fact, right? Bro, it was just ridiculous. It, <laughs> it was really like is. Now, I'm not talking about the uh, Star Wars stuff from the 1980s. All that stuff was real, although so, you know people back then thought it was a joke. I mean, that stuff's real. They still talk about that now and again. We're talking about a real, real Death Star. We have a caller. We have a caller. Eight hundred fifty trillion ahead, dollars. But so yeah, caller, tell us what you think about that or anything else for that. Or matter. whatever you want to tell us. You're on the air. Hello. Hi. Oh, I know who this is. Hey, what's all right? Hi. What what's what's uh, what are you calling about? Ah, uh, I've been listening to your Barack Obama rant. Oh, would you like I to? Knew, I in? knew that would. I knew that would pique your interest. I knew it, Daddy. What are you yes. have? To, what are you thinking? Ah, uh, well. Today, uh, I was pretty pissed off at his uh, press conference and uh, executive orders that he pushed through with this gun control. Okay, tell us about that now. Um, uh, all right, well, what, do you, what are I your opinions on today. that? Oh, yeah. What, what gun control, what, which ones were they exactly? Uh, semi-automatic and automatic weapons. Oh, the and uh, the magazines. But the semi-automatic yeah. weapons. I believe had a limit for the magazine clips, yeah, and most handy. of them would become illegal now as handguns. Right. And where are you calling from, by the way? 
Chicago, Chicago. Illinois. Oh, Chicago, where supposedly everybody's getting shot every minute. Well, they really are. Yeah, in the five by block, five by five block area on the right. south on side. South side, south side, for side for sure. right? Yeah. yeah. But and and which, did you guys hear that's that an Ra- Ron Emanuel went to go uh, support Obama's full package today? No, Ron Emanuel is. Ron Emanuel also does not want to speak yeah, about fiscal just... responsibility unless it involves homosexuality. I've learned that in the last 30 days, too. I watched the news in Chicago. No, I actually, I used to like Rahm Emanuel until he pulled the stunt with Chick-fil-A here and told them they can't open up because of their personal stance on uh, gay marriage. That that kind of did it for me. But everything think, else has been pretty good so far, but then he turned into this creepy Obama liberal. I think oh, Rahm Emanuel is a secret homosexual, to be honest with you. I think he is, too. Most, most people don't know he wears a tutu and dances ballet. <laughs> and his ballet uh, uh, by the way his ballet teacher is named Joel Olstein uh, Joel yeah uh, I just admitted that on the air and he'll probably Joel even knows me that's the weird part anyways uh, I think we have another caller can we put you on hold for a minute do we have another caller there Malaka oh we gotta put you on Malaka. hold Malaka's calling Malaka's, Malaka's calling Malaka's don't hang back. up don't hang up we'll, we'll come back to you uh, okay oh, alright we'll put you on hold Malaka come on in okay oh Malaka hung up no, it's going to take us about a minute. All right, all right. But anyways, no, so Rahm Emanuel. By Imagine, the way, yeah. you thought Bloomberg was bad, right? R- totally. Like, yeah. Rahm Emanuel just, like, takes it to another level. Bro. He really does. He's like, the, I think, I do really, you know what? You know, it's like the same thing as, like, we, everyone thought Jimmy Carter was bad. But, yeah. like, Barack Obama makes Jimmy Carter look like a goddamn genius. He really does. It's really horrible. It, is, it doesn't even matter about your party affiliation anymore. It really does. You know, I would have taken Hillary, bro. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't have preferred her, but I'd rather have Hillary over Barack. I, at this point, and you know what? I don't would. even call Barack anymore. I just call him by his middle name, which is Hussein. Right, totally. Well, anyways, next caller. Malaka. Ira, Malaka, is that you? Yeah, no, it's me, up, boy. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, guys? All right. what's uh, We got two of you talking. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We were... Who's the other person? Well, this is only Malaka. I don't know who the other is. Okay, we're just looking for Malaka right now. Malaka, talk. All right, it's Malaka. All right, go all ahead. Right, talk, talk about the Joe. The That's Malaka. Malaka. Oh, Malaka. all right. That's the guy we're looking for. Hi, yeah. Joe. Welcome. We're well, on the I'm air. Sorry, What's going on? So here you guys want my picks, huh? There's a, there's a story here about Manti Teo being the... Uh, the uh, butt of a sick joke regarding uh, the death of his girlfriend. But uh, that, that piqued my interest. But we want to hear your take on the NFL playoffs. Who do you like? I like uh, this week. I like San Fran in Atlanta. Okay. To cover the three and a half. Yeah, let's go. I just want to come to the studio and go wild with you guys. Come yeah, on. I agree. All right, you will, but you got to tell us the spreads now over the right, phone. So San Fran <laughs> is, is giving three and a half? San Fran is favored by three and a half in Atlanta. Okay, and how so, about in essence they're... They're, they're, they're six they're and what? a half. No, they're three and a half point favorites. No. What are you talking about? Because you get three points for home field. Shut up, man. No, they're giving three and a half no, points. No. God, you're wrong. I, I don't know. know hey, maybe hey. he's not Greek. Maybe he's Spanish, but he's wrong. Yeah, seriously. To take the whole, you know, to be the gambling guy here and not even know what a point spread means. I do know what a point spread Clearly means. Clearly you don't. Tools. And you gamble excessively. Uh, all right, wait. Nate, let's hear it. Do you understand that you get... But the book, right, the right, book makers, game, Nate, stop! You're gonna lose. The game. bookmakers give three points for home field right, automatically. Great. So they're three and a half point favorites. All right. All right. So they would have been six and a half with the three. And right. Half. All right. Exactly. So New England, how about New England versus Baltimore? New England versus Baltimore. I like New England, man. I don't. I don't bet against New England ever since. All right. Belichick. So. So Ever since when? to be winning by 30 and still throw a ball. All right, so here's some advice to the rest of our listeners based on Malaka's previous bets in the mm-hmm. college football championship game. Take, <laughs> Don't bet on take Atlanta plus three and a half and, <laughs> and take Baltimore plus the points. We have to make him a drop what for that. <laughs> Malaka's picks of the week. What is the spread for Baltimore? <laughs> How many points is Baltimore getting? Baltimore is getting nine. Wow, they're in New England, eh? Yeah. Guys, speaking of sports, there was an article. There's a soccer club, a Vision Sports uh, International. They're based out of England. They're talking about trying to bring MLS back to Tampa and building a soccer-style stadium. One was MLS in, in Tampa. Tampa. Oh, you don't remember? You don't in remember? the late 90s, they used to go to, we had 3,000 fans at every what game. What was the yeah. team and shit? The Tampa the Mutiny. Mutiny. Carlos Valderrama. Carlos Valderrama, exactly. Well, oh, yeah, it's right. The Mutiny. Well, that's why the name sucks. Well, then I think the name's fantastic. I think the name's fantastic, too. I'm and not going to lie. I, I like the mutiny. The Who wants to come see the Tampa Bay mutiny? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Well, how do you get back on there? San Fran in the Super Bowl, boys. San Fran in the Super Bowl. And New England. 
What do you think about Colin Kaepernick being being so young? Does I think, New, I think New England's going to take it all. Oh, I hate New England. So do I, but I, we can't. We but, have to admit they're amazing. Does Does Colin Kaepernick's age and lack of experience uh, cause you to be somewhat concerned? You talking to me? Yes. Yes. No, I think Colin Kaepernick is going to do fine. He routed. Uh, Who did he even play last week? I don't even Seattle. know. I lost so much money. Yeah, I, he was fantastic last him. week. Let's be no, honest. No, not Seattle. Green Bay. Yeah, he was. Green Bay. He was fantastic. Green Bay. Yeah, yeah. All the mushes had Green Bay. Actually, I won. They won by fourteen. He came out of nowhere. I mean, I saw him play in college. He played for Nevada. He, no, he he broke the record for most rushing. Yards Correct. Most game. rushing yards for a quarterback yeah. uh, in NCAA Division One. But you know, he wasn't he highly. Like Twenty minutes left. Okay, yeah. Can you come down? <laughs> what, are you like people fighting on our show or something? What the? F- what's what's going, on? What's going on? Yeah, seriously. Do we have another caller? Like well, to while they duke it out and you shit. Don't want that? Mr. Engineer, Nixon, we'll yes. call you. Hi. They're not, even, they're not even paying attention to us today. They write us on All their right. balls. All right. Mystified. What? Oh, we got cut off there. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, who else? Do we have another caller in there? No? no, that's all right. all right. Anyways, if you want to call in, it is eight so one three. So that guy likes San Francisco to win it all, I guess he does. That might I don't be, know. That, that might be the sexy pick right it there. It might happen. Look, I think if it's not going to be New England, it's going to be San Francisco. Do women watch the NFL playoffs? Yes, no, really. a lot of them do. Is it just to hang out with their men, or do they really? Care? I think no, some like, of them, re- like ten percent, really care. Yeah, forty percent. Pretend like they're supportive. Pretend like they're supportive. And the other 50%... Like to cook. No, go to NFL and watch but it Nate, so they can try to score a man. I mean, and get belligerent. The only yeah. reason you're watching is because you're betting on the games, isn't it? No. Yeah, it really is. No, I mean, it's really if, not. if you're not really betting is. on the game, why would you watch it? Well, it's like, know. you know, it's, it's semi fun. It's like the Super Bowl. Everybody watches it. You, know, so. you watch it for the commercials, though. That's I think that's why I, I, really, I really do watch the Super Bowl. I honestly I do. But I, I'll tell you what, boys. The past two, three Super Bowls have been amazing games. They really have. Because we've had some boring ass Super Bowls. Really? I'm not gonna yeah. lie. But like yeah. I mean, the past three have been like primo. Like I remember 2000 oh, with the Bears and Colts. No, that was, that was just homosexual. No, that was 2007. That was horrible, man. I cried. And like the Bucks Raiders. Like 99 and 2000. That was a boring Super Bowl. 99, 2000, 2001. Those were like the three worst. Games ever, even yeah. their viewership was like no. Ninety nine was amazing, dude. Titans, Rams, the last greatest second. show on turf. That was the oh, yeah. bro, unbelievable. Bird Emanuel yeah. uh, catch, wasn't it? Uh, was it Bird Emanuel or Kevin well, Dyson? No, Kevin Dyson. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Kevin Dyson. But he he fell short. What a yard and a half. A yard and a half. Yeah, un- unbelievable game. The, the longest yard. Yep. I still say the greatest Super Bowl ever is 1985 Super Bowl. Relax with the Bears. Okay? Right, yeah. Seriously. No, that was one of the craziest defenses I've ever seen. I wasn't alive. I still have a Jim McMahon That's poster. That's the sad part. You weren't even alive. From 1985. No. My God, we're getting old. Yep. You know, I know it was really, really messed up. Like, the Bears won, and, like, everybody in Chicago went crazy, and they were passing out posters in school. I was, like, a little kid. I must have been six years old, five years old. I don't five. know. Five. Um, and then we're like, okay, we're going to have Bears Day in the school. Like, And then, like, we were going to have it that day, and everybody had, like, a party, and we're all wearing Bears stuff. And then, like, we turned on the TV, and then, like, the Challenger blew up. Well, oh. And I was like, whoa, because, well, like, well, you ruined our Super Bowl it's party. It's one of those moments in history everyone knows where they are or where they were. Yeah, question, like 9-11. Now, question for you guys. You're both from Chicago, okay? Yeah. You're Bears fans? No. Mm-hmm. What football team do you follow? Yeah, like uh, the Bears. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers And I do Steelers follow the Bucks fan. even before I moved here. And how about baseball? I'm a White Sox fan. Well, is it someone? Uh, Cubs. Do you ever go to Rays home games? Uh, when they play the Yankees on the White Sox. And who do you root for? The Yankees and the I, White that, Sox. That disturbs me. I hate the Yankees. Yeah. You, go, you go to a Rays home game and you feel like you're the visiting team. Yeah, it's really that. That's that honestly, true. that bothers I'm me. I'm going to tell you. When you live in a city, that's not become your number one team. You got to support the hometown. I like the Rays. So you gotta like the Rays. No, Louis does like the Rays. He does. I mean, you know, I, mean, I always we live, have. We all live in Florida. We're here for a reason. Support your team. Whatever That's guy, true. the Rays. But the, the you know what? They're underdogs. They're a pretty good team, and they have like the like the worst budget in baseball. No, I mean, second worst. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> he was right. But they put together. I mean, but they put always put together. They always lose their team. players, though, man. The high paying teams. I mean, you can't blame the players for leaving because they're because no, they not. build teams from the ground up and then they lose them. That's why. That's what the, that's what happens to the Marlins too. All the they time. should just play money ball and get it over with. You know I haven't even seen that movie. Have you? Then then you don't know what I'm talking about. The Oakland A's. Yeah, have you seen that movie? 
Yeah, it was pretty good. Was it? I'm gonna there's, watch. There's it. a lot of good movies out right now. Oh I'm my see god! Gangsters, yeah. gangs, the Gangster Squad, and Zero Dark Thirty. Another I Mark Bull. See, yeah. Another Mark Bull written film. The uh, the uh, screenplay, the screenwriter that won the uh, award for Hurt Locker for best yeah. original screenplay. It's at, out in theaters. Um, I plan on seeing it this week. I gotta yeah. see it. I can't What's up? Have you it? seen Skyfall? Skyfall's fantastic. It was totally. It's fantastic. James Bond. I think that could be the best Bond ever. Oh, I don't know about that. It's top three for sure. No, man. Would you give it that? Remington Steel was the just best best James Bond well, ever. Would you give it a top three Bond film? <sighs> Nate, there's a lot of competition there. There buddy. is a lot of... For me, here are the best Bond films. Like in my... For me. I'm going to have to go with... Uh, no particular order, okay? Because it's just too hard. How about just top three? All right. Um, Goldfinger. Um... I gotta figure octopussies in there. Yeah, no, I didn't love the, octopussy just because of the meteora. Yeah, right. No, I didn't love octopussy. Wow, well, you can't even think of three Bond movies. No, so just like just, Skyfall and the last three. Uh, the, honestly, no. <laughs> yeah, right. Honestly, I think Doctor No was fantastic. That was the first one. Wow. Nate, question for you: How many actors have played James Bond during the history of of, of the of the? Uh, Can I just name them? Series? Sure, name them. The uh, Sean Connery, okay, Roger Moore, who, ding, ding, ding. who I think was the all-time greatest Bond. Who you think Roger Moore is really? the all-time greatest Bond? I think what so. the hell's wrong? I'm gonna have to go with Connery, and then honestly, no. second Pierce Brosnan. He's the best, I think. Pierce Brosnan, yeah. yeah. Oh. So anyway, Connery, Pierce Brosnan, but Roger Moore. Roger Moore sat all the classic roles, though. Uh, I mean, he's a good actor. Daniel man, Craig, um, Timothy Dalton, who was the worst Bond ever. Uh, Th that's like making uh, what's his name? Uh, that's like when they made uh, ER guy Batman. What's his name? Oh, man? Clooney. Yeah. Wow. What a disaster. What a disaster. Val Val Horrible. Val Kimmer wasn't any good either. No. No, but he, at least he tried to be what about Batman. Mike Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was great. He was the most awesome Batman. I no. Think. I Christian Bale. No, takes Christian the Bale cake. takes the cake. Yeah, takes right, the cake. Fine. But no, no, the, the, the Tim Burton, kind of me out the, the Tim Burton Batmans were amazing. I think it's which more were one and two returns and Batman. Yeah, that made me. By the way, do you realize amazing. it was either today or it's this week? Um, Heath Ledger has been gone five years. Keep what do you celebrate that shit? Come no, on, what, not you go to John Lennon's that. grave too? What no, but just it's it's the crazy fuck? how just, time flies. Is what he's trying flies. to get at. Yeah, I mean that felt like it was yesterday. Yesterday, literally. Oh my gone, god, five years. Been gone five years. And Michael Jackson, four years. Oh nine. Can you believe that? I can. It's crazy. It, it is crazy. It I is think crazy. Michael Jackson was another one of those moments where you knew where you were. For me, it was. You know, I I, I can't say that I, I agree because I don't remember where I was. I do. You I know, was look, like I was like about to cry. For, for, for I was watching like, Fox News eating ham sandwiches. Well, look, clearly for those that are older, I mean, you know, Kennedy's assassination. Right. You know, going back to 1963, which doesn't involve any of us. Right, right. The Challenger, for sure, and September 11th. I mean, that's obviously... Oh, I think that could be the biggest. That, that's probably... The that's probably the biggest, 9-11. Because that's something everyone at this point can relate to, because for the most part, everyone's been around since... Absolutely. And not are you, are you I trying mean, to go into, like, a 9-11 moment? No. I'm just trying to go into... Look at this guy. ...how you think about moments in history. Well, we're talking yeah. about time, how time flies. Even 9-11, yeah. that was 10 years 11 years ago. Guy, like, in my mind... That's crazy. It's, it's so long. I can't believe it's, it's like, been that it's long. It's like I don't even remember it, but I do. Whatever. You're just a homosexual. Fuck you. Easy. I can't believe we just said that on the air. What? That you're a homosexual? No, you're a homosexual. We're swearing on the air like this at each other. I'm not. Fucking... No, that, because every time someone three James wants to, Bond movies. Every time... Someone wants to fucking say something. You like chime in, and you're like, "Oh, what are you?" I don't I'm know. sorry. I thought this was a radio show. Well, no, guy. Like wait. you won't even let anyone fucking finish all right, their sentence. All right. Easy, relax. We'll just turn now. off the mic. We did look. We did right? off the. Uh, all right. The, the football. Anyway, yeah, off topic. Yeah. Off, yeah. Topic, yeah. off topic. Off topic. Any interest in college uh, basketball? Uh, hug Nate, me. Nate, Nate, you talk no. about you talk about no. betting. Get away, fag. Hug me. I'm all sorry. right, all right. Nate, you talk all about right. betting and sports. You know, gambling. Was that like a Bill and Ted moment? Yeah. March uh -huh. March Madness isn't isn't that far off. They, they say that's one of the biggest uh, gambling weeks of the year. Those first four days. I honestly, can I tell you a secret? I haven't. I've like di I've been disgusted by col college basketball. Yeah. Really. The past like five years, How I haven't can you be watched. It. It's the greatest sport. No. I, what are you disgusted by? I love college football way more than the NFL, but I love NBA way more than that. Uh, See, the college. NBA does nothing for me. Really? Th last look. 
Unless it's the Knicks or the last three minutes of a game, I have no interest in watching it. Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. I can't watch the Lakers. Speaking of the Knicks, you look really weird, guys. The Knicks are hot this year. Of course they are. They are looking good. No, but honestly, they're a legitimate contender. If the Lakers and the Spurs were on tonight, would you watch it? Yeah, because I'm a huge Lakers fan. All right, well, you're a Lakers fan. I'm neither, and I it doesn't interest me. I always watch my favorite team, (laughs) and I always watch excited. Like the Spurs, as amazing as they are. Can't watch the games. And Boring, way, horrible. Dwight Howard's legacy is just going Dwight further, and further into the pit. I was pissed off when they traded Bynum for him. Honestly, I, well, Bynum was a solid player. Solid player, great fit for the team. I don't know. That you was guys, just stupid. that just goes to show about sports too. I mean, chemistry is oh, absolutely huge, huge. You can't just assemble a cast of characters that you think just because they're great in their own way are going to make you a championship team, right, Louis? You want the truth? I, want the truth. I stopped. I, yeah, sports. I stopped. I, no, that's not true. I stopped watching basketball, and now I watch Pawn well, Stars. Oh, Pawn Stars! <laughs> greatest show ever. <laughs> yeah, but it's so Serious. staged. It's such a great. How show. is it so staged? staged? How know, is it staged? A good show. First of all, Come like Rick Harrison knows everything in the world about everything that comes in that. That's no, called really editing. That's, that's not called editing. Ed- that's called educating. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna what? You're gonna. You I know, mean, he's been in the what? business for time. Yeah, I know. He sure saw the coin. Ah, oh, you see, the, the, this coin was was manufactured or, or he doesn't do that with guy. They're not gonna brand. show you having him look it up on the internet for 45 minutes and then come back and say, "Here's what it all." You know what I'm saying? This, though. But that's the idea. Well, that's television. In well, all honesty, I now know the value of show, worthless bro. crap because of that show. I know. Me too. <laughs> exactly. I can tell you that uh, Gibson started making banjos, and they came from <laughs> Africa on slave ships. And, yeah, I even and, and if you have the 1925, uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, it's worth $2,500, you know? So in, in case sure. I ever... As well as, like, uh, the value of a Les Paul guitar. Right, right. I never right. known before. Right. Or, or, like, coins made from New Orleans really suck. <laughs> Remember that one? Right, or... <laughs> Like pedal cars, I didn't know they had yeah. that much value. Huge value, yeah. I Seven, eight, seventy thousand dollars for yeah. a restored pedal car. Right. I mean, I just did that. You know, that guys, if we were smart, me away. right? When we were five, six, seven years old, we would have kept all our toys. Oh, I know. I, I did. think I about kept... that all the time. Wait, wait. I kept my Atari and all that jazz, and like, and I still have like, like I remember when a guy came guy, out on the not show. Atari, that's stupid. Atari twenty six hundred, and like I think, oh man, it's gonna be this guy be worth at least five grand. It's like worth like a hundred well, bucks. Let's hundred stop. bucks. Yeah, let's stop and give because electronics are false. Words of advice to everyone out there now obviously we're not kids anymore but with your kids the toys that seem pretty valuable they, they may be find a spot for them in the garage right storm them store away. them properly so their condition and stays 20 mid. 30 years from now call uh rick harrison at pawn stores I, yeah i don't know i think the stuff they make now is like over diluted there's too much in the market speaking of pawn sh- stars you know the old man isn't really that old he just looks really old he looks old he looks like ninety years old. Is he all? Guess ru- how old he is? He's like sixty-seven. Wow. wow. Is he yeah. all? Is he all roughed yeah. up from cigars and horns? I don't know, man. But he looks old. But guys, let me ask because Louis Louis brought this t- up now regarding saturated or whatever. When you were a kid, okay, mm-hmm. how many toys did you have? I mean, I had a big wheel. There was another toy you used to sit on and like spin the center wheel and like go round and round on it. What, like a mini merry-go-round? I, it's, I forget what it was called. It, used to, it, it had a little like. Disc in the middle, you'd sit on it. It was like a little, like a little twister merry go kind of thing. You would like spin the wheel, the, the big wheel, yeah, spin yeah. around it. Guys, we got a caller coming in. All right, we got Tommy K. Tommy K, you're on the phone. Yeah, boys. Yes. Hi. How are we doing? We're doing okay. Glad How are you doing? doing? Good. My degenerate friend uh, Drew Felios told me to give you a call. Okay. And, oh, and what did he say? Well, he said, listen, there are, there are these three crazy Greek guys talking, and uh, it would be great if you could call them up and uh, spar with them a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We My first it. question, are you, sir, or have you ever been at any time a terrorist or affiliated with a terrorist organization? <laughs> We're going to bring you up on treason <laughs> charges. <laughs> that would be a big, fat no. All right, then you qualify to be a guest on this show. Go ahead. <laughs> well, well that's, that's terrific. By the way, did you give Andy Fellers any advice on dating Greek women and whether the landscape has changed? Well, you know, I've been around Drew quite a bit and uh, in his swinging player days, and yes, he <laughs> deserves and uh, receives plenty of advice from me, yes. <laughs> Does he still ever single, listen right? to it? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually a media friend of his. Uh, I work over at 620. This is uh, Tom Krasnicki. Oh, uh, hi, Tom. Yeah, uh, beautiful. You're a media friend. Does that mean like you guys pretend to be friends, and then when you go home, you're like, whatever, Fuck screw that guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give him the brush, and I yeah. go by the way. I said, hey, Drew, yeah, I'll see you in about six months. Right. Yeah. He's my friend, but when the lights are off, I'm like, get out of here. 
<laughs> the, 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 <laughs> only my By way, friend. friend. <laughs> Tom, yeah, do we know if Drew Fellers has a non-compete? If we can get him on here for a segment. Uh, Fellers also doesn't compete against any.